Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So I've been having some fun recently combining techniques. Um, I'll show you one here. This is a flip cup that I did and I wasn't really happy with this corner so I did a tree ring on it. And now I friggin' love it. So I thought I'd do a video on it. We're gonna start with a flip cup. I have some leftover paint here I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna add a little more paint into here. Um, and then we'll start like I said, with a flip cup and then kind of decide from there what we might want to add. Red, red, black. Okay, good. Let's go ahead and flip this. And I'm reusing a canvas, so I did prime it here. We'll let this sit for just a minute and settle, and then we'll come back and pull it off. Okay, here we go. That was more black than I intended. That's okay. So if I used too much black, this is a good thing about this technique, is that I can just go over it with a tree ring. But it's actually looking pretty cool anyways. There we go. I actually really like the black. I think uh, the one part I don't really like is this corner. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll go ahead and we'll do that. So I'm gonna add just a little more paint to my cup. Same colors to go along with that same uh, color scheme here. But I only need a little bit. I don't need to add, of course, like a full cup of paint. I'm gonna put a little extra blue in this part, I think. There's a lot of red in here. Okay. So now, we're just gonna go over that corner. Um, not right on the corner though, but kind of like right here. And just add a bit of a tree ring. And then we tilt to blend it in. And I do want it blended, but don't want to mess up my original design too much. So I'm not going to, that's kind of a hard thing is to not over tilt it. So I think like that is actually quite perfect. Let's go ahead and we'll let this sit for a bit um, and see anything else that possibly develops. And then we'll come back and do our close up. All right, so we've got all kinds of cool cells developing here, and I think that it goes perfectly with the picture. Like, it doesn't clash, it, and it adds something to it, and like I said, I wasn't really fond of that corner, so this now makes it into something super awesome. Let's do our close-up. Okay, starting on the lower right-hand corner. So I was a little worried with all that black, but look at all the cells that came up through it. And we got, I mean, I am using the the primary colors here. So we got basically all the colors of the rainbow pretty much. Um, that's the upper right hand corner with the tree ring. Going over here to the upper left hand corner. I actually love this. I love when it makes kind of the watercolor-ish kind of effect. And I love these green and blue cells in the black. And then down to the lower left hand corner. And even the sides look really cool. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I have some other videos coming soon with similar, like, you know, combining different techniques. Please do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time.